Welcome back to another episode of JDM for All. Today's video is going to be an install of a mod that I talked about a few months ago that we are going to be installing on my off-road build Honda CRV. The CRV is lifted, it is an all-wheel drive second gen 2003 Honda CRV. And we are going to be installing these hood spacers. I did make a video about these a while back. It's about time that we install them. I know uh, I did talk about it probably like a month and a half ago. Now it's not super hard to install these, but it will be cool to see the difference from stock to having hood spacers on my CRV. So it is about 111 degrees out today here in Arizona. It's pretty hot and we are going to be working in the shade, but this mod should help with letting heat out of the engine bay and it should let a lot more air flow through. So we are going to be installing these right now. So let's go over to the CRV and check it out. All right guys, so like I said before, it is definitely hot out here. It is a very hot day, even in the shade. Like right when you walk outside from the AC, you can feel the heat. It just kind of hits you in the face. And this is the hottest month of the year here in Arizona. So here's my CRV guys. This is what the hood looks like right now. And you can see that sprinklers were spraying all over my CRV. That is really annoying. Needs a wash, always needs a wash. But here we go guys. This is the hood. That's the stock hood. This is the before. And I think it will look a little bit cooler with these hood spacers installed. And hopefully it will actually keep my engine cooler as well. And this vehicle is amazing, guys. If you guys are looking into buying a CRV, a first gen or second gen, I know for um, from firsthand experience, they are amazing. They are just really reliable. I've owned the first 97 Honda CRV, uh, first gen. That was my first CRV. This is my second CRV and they are great cars guys um i also know someone who has a third gen and it has been very reliable as well this is my daily driver guys i just i absolutely enjoy driving this crv and it's time to make her look a little better because i have been driving her for a long time and i've actually been saying that i've owned the crv for five years guys i looked it up i actually looked at the title and i bought this crv seven years ago so i have owned the crv for seven years not five years i've owned it for seven years guys that's just crazy let's go grab the parts i'll tell you guys exactly what you need it's not super difficult all you need i believe is a 10 millimeter but let me go grab my wrench and i'll figure it out okay guys so for this job you need a couple rags to lay on the windshield while you're doing this to make sure the hood does not hit the windshield because the corners of the hood can crack it and that is just something you want to do as a precaution to make sure the hood does not fall and uh, actually hit the windshield um, more than likely it won't even go anywhere around the windshield but this is just to make sure that your windshield is uh, protected and does not get chipped or cracked. And the second thing that you'll need is a wrench. Um, you could basically use any type of wrench, open end or whatever. Um, I believe it's a 10 millimeter. I will let you guys know in a second when I pop the hood. Pretty sure it's a 10 though. And obviously you, ne you need the hood spacers as well. All right, so first we're going to get these out so they're ready. So right when we get the hood loosened, we can just start installing these. Here's the hood spacers. These are really good quality. Obviously the cheaper ones are more like just uh, round cylinders that kind of mimic a bunch of washers stacked. This one has a lot more metal because there's metal uh, filling in the middle. These definitely do look nice. And I do like the anodized metal look. It just looks really good. So here's the little uh, washers. It says Password JDM. As you can see, this is a Password JDM kit. So I'm just gonna get all of the stuff out just so it's ready, so we're not rushing to get all the, all the parts out beforehand. And these washers really are cool. Th that's the difference between a nice set of hood spacers and a cheaper set, is that you get stuff like these, and they just look awesome. All right, here's the last piece. Password JDM. They just look so cool. I've had really cheap ones and I've had nice ones. These are obviously on the nicer end. All right, so now 
We are, we set up the rags up here just to make sure the hood does not uh, have any chance of hitting the windshield. Just something you can do, you don't have to do this. Now we're going to loosen up the, uh, the hood really quick. Yeah, 10 millimeter, like I thought. These are gonna be pretty hard because I'm pretty sure these have never been broken. Oh yeah, wow. It's like welded on. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Yeah, that is like the hardest bolt I've ever broken on a hood. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we're going to get these loosened really quick, guys. And then you don't want to take them all the way out, but you do want to loosen them up considerably. All right, so now that the hood spacers are in, I'm just going to hand thread these little uh, Allen key bolts in. These are way more difficult than a regular 10 millimeter. I would much rather just want to, I would much rather just deal with a 10 millimeter than deal with these because there's just, there's nothing to grip and they're just really sharp. So they're not really, uh, they're not very easy to grip and get started, but you do want to start these by hand threading them just to make sure that they don't cross thread. And uh, once they, once they get started, you could, you could uh, screw them in with an Allen wrench. But yeah, that is basically in. Now all I have to do is tighten it up really quick. And I did uh, set up the hood um, a little higher to the servicing position, uh, just so I have more space. As you guys can see, it is super hot out here. We've only probably been out here maybe 25 minutes. This is a super easy job and I am sweating already. So the car is done, the vehicle is done, the parts are installed, made sure to double and triple check them, tighten them up. All right guys, so let's see the finished product. Let's see what it looks like. That is what it looks like now. It is actually a really big gap and it's surprisingly, surprisingly big, but it does look aggressive and it should help with heat dissipation. Should help a lot of heat escape from the engine bay. It actually is really a big, a big, big change from what it was before. It does look cool though. I do like it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this mod. I don't know if I'll actually keep it forever, but I do like how it looks. It is just something that I might have to get used to. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this, guys. Let me know if you guys are planning on doing this mod to your CRV. Let me know if you guys think I should remove it. I don't know, guys. I usually do this mod to every car of mine, except for the Lexus and the Type R. I've basically done this to all of my Civics. Never did it to my first gen CRV, though, but that's the finished product, guys. That is what it looks like. So I am liking how it looks. It does look somewhat subtle on the camera. It does look pretty pronounced in person. I do like how it looks though, and hopefully it does cool off my engine a little bit more during the hot summers like today, guys, because it is a super hot day out. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for making it this far. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys aren't already. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you guys think about this mod. So this channel did just reach 4,000 subscribers. So I wanna thank everyone who is subscribed. Thank you guys for supporting this channel and for watching my videos. And I have a lot of big plans for this channel and I have a lot of big plans for my vehicles that I do own right now. So stay tuned for more videos about the CRV guys. And thank you guys for watching and for subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next video.